first trailer for Tom Holland's Uncharted is dropped. Let's do this. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. They're just lost. Hey, kid. I'm a little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? Everything in here. Why the map? This is the path that Ferdinand Magellan took to sail around the world. You know your history. It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion easy. I think you're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam. But now I smell the rain. And when it and it's heading my way. If we find that gold, we find him too. Yes, I keep on. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know I'm one of them. You are a collector. Well, I dabble. I don't dabble. My family has been looking for this fortune for a very long time. So much blood. Well, I'm pretty sure he's just threatening to kill me. But don't touch your ear like that. You look like an idiot. You have no idea who you partnered with. I've been dreaming about this stuff since I was a kid. My brother Sam left one final clue. Oh my God. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. What? <laughs> oh, crap! <laughs> Exclusively in movie theaters. Alrighty, be sure to let me know what you thought about the Uncharted trailer down below in the comment section. Also, give me a point of reference. Have you played the Uncharted games? I actually played through the Uncharted games last year and did my one and only video game franchise ranking about them. And you can check that out right up here once this video is done to know what I thought about the Uncharted games. I'm going to watch the trailer one more time and then I'm going to start talking about it. Alrighty, so as I just mentioned, I played through all of the Uncharted games last year. It's actually what I did whenever the world shut down. We had COVID lockdown. I decided to spend my extra free time playing through the Uncharted games for the very first time. People have been recommending them to, for, to me for a very long time. They said they should be exactly your type of thing, and all those people were totally correct. It was exactly my sort of thing. And the video games have a very cinematic way of telling their story and you you can play them and very easily see how you just take these stories, take these characters, and translate translate them directly into a movie. And so, at, by at this point in time that I was playing them, we knew that an Uncharted movie was on the way. And so I was kind of fascinated and interested. And at the same time, they announced they cast Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, and I wasn't quite sure how that made a lot of sense because both of them seem too young for the respective roles given the mythology of the video game and so or video games it's so just kind of one of those interesting ones of like okay this seems like a perfect film that might actually be a really good video game movie and at the same time i do not fully understand exactly what you're doing here with the casting not that i dislike tom holland or mark Wahlberg. they just seem too young for the respective parts in light of the actual mythology of the video games and uh, so now we actually have a trailer showing us what they're trying to do with it. And um, independent of my criticisms of the, the age of the casting of the, the two leads of the film, it feels like they're trying to take all the mythology of multiple games and squish it into this one movie. Trying to, how do you take all these iconic images with the ship underground, the big final sequence in the trailer of him dangling behind an airplane. This is pull them straight out of the video games, 
translate them right to the big screen. As I mentioned earlier, this is a video game material that is ripe to translate directly to the big screen, while also take, trying to take the backstory and all these different characters and elements and weave them together in a very different fashion than it was in the video games. But, you know, when it comes to the look, like it looks like these sequences from the video games. Um, some of the humor feels like the banter between the two characters that was very common to the video games. And the action seems to be in line with what they should be doing um, with these, even the, even with the nature of like the being pulled behind the airplane with some of the, the hopping stuff from it. That's the sort of stuff that you do in final battles in the in these video games, and that one being directly straight out of the third game. So, um... And it, it it looks like my type of movie. I don't know that it'll be great cinema, but seeing Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland globetrot looking for treasure while shooting guns and punching people in the face, um, that's the sort of thing that I tend to enjoy. So I, I have my reservations. I have my skepticism because of some of the choices that they made, and it feels a little bit like... Sony trying to keep their, their main guy and give him another franchise. And I, I get skeptical when it seems like studios are just trying to cast their current it, it person and they cast the same person in all their franchises. That's, that's an awful lot what this feels like. Kind of removed that from, my removed my skepticism. There's a lot here that, that I had fun with. So um, I have my, my skepticism, but I'm optimistic at the exact same time. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Be sure to check out that Uncharted video game uh, ranking that I did right over there. That's the only time I've ever ranked a video game franchise because video game franchises tend to take a very long time to play through, so they're tough to rank with the way that I do my rankings and keep talking movies and TV and video games, I guess.